who starts off is completely it's, it's pitch black. The vision is pitch black. Next thing I know, I see Jesus, and he's standing on the right hand side, and he's so tall. He had a crown on his head, and he was looking down, and so he takes his hand and he reaches it down and he grabs something and he pulls it up i saw the father and he appeared on the left hand side and he also had a crown on his head so imagine god on his throne like this right sitting down by his knees there comes a little king walking and this is exactly how the little king comes into the frame he's out like this and he comes walking into the frame right where god is sitting the little king starts prancing around god and he's, he's boastful. And I remember the father looking so angry. And so he picks up this hammer and he starts banging the little king, banging him, banging him. I remember I saw the little king go up and he just shot straight down. The little king is no longer in the frame of my vision. The father is still banging and banging. Whole vision starts to shake as the father is angrily banging. And next thing I know, the vision was over. I said, Lord, what did that vision mean? Jesus immediately answered me and he said, what I had grabbed and pulled to myself represented wheat. It was wheat that I pulled up. Now, in Matthew 13, Jesus talks all about the wheat and the tares. The wheat representing the people of God, the tares representing the people of the devil. It says, blessed is the servant when his Lord comes and finds him doing so. When God comes, he's gonna separate the wheat from the tares. When God comes, your deeds will be exposed. He's going to see right through you. Will you be for him or will you be against him? He said the little king represented the world. It represented its boastfulness, its idolatry, its pride. God hates all three of those things. He got so angry, so angry. He is coming back to judge the world. It will not be sweet. It will not be sweet. He is coming to bring his sword. I can't go to bed at night without thinking, am I right with him? Every night that I go to bed, it feels like he's coming that day. It, his presence is so strong. Will you be for God? Are you for God? Have you repented? Are you repenting? Are you doing the works of the Lord? The Bible says that we are to walk on our salvation daily with fear and trembling. It's not, I'm going to get saved and then next thing you know, it's, it's all right. That's all you have to do. No. The Bible says to be perfect, to be holy as God is holy repent today that is a scary matter of being judged by your creator repent today